Well, a much needed addition to the Smith Mountain Lake Volunteer Marine Fire and Rescue is expected to make the water safer. A new jet boat will allow rescue teams to navigate parts of the lake they weren't able to before. WSLS 10's Rachel Lucas explains how Fireboat 11-3 will improve response times. We're not even a week into summer yet, and already it's been a busy season for fire and rescue crews here at Smith Mountain Lake. So far, they've responded to three near drownings, a jet ski explosion, and a house fire. They say the addition of a new boat will help their response times. And when it comes to water rescues, minutes can mean the difference between life and death. This year, the lives of three children were saved thanks to quick action. CPR was performed right away and uh, by the medical personnel that, that are in these different departments. And thank goodness they were able to uh, revive those kids and, uh, and save them. The addition of Fireboat 11-3 will allow fire and rescue teams to more safely travel at night and through high waters with debris. You can even take a fire pump and bring on board and fight fire with that can be on the scene in 15 minutes versus an hour up the river. This boat's going to stay on the trailer, so when we get that rescue call up at Bay Rock Marina, then all we have to do is hook up to it and take it up there, and I'm going to say from our office up there might be 15 minutes, if that, and it can be in the water. Not only will it be quicker in many cases, its ability to navigate debris-heavy water will cut down on repair costs to their larger, older boats that can easily be damaged. They say their newest boat will be crucial for the July 4th holiday weekend, when in the past they've received as many as 17 calls a day. The rest of their fleet is between 20 and 30 years old, so they do hope to replace those in the coming years, but they rely on donations from the public. At Smith Mountain Lake, I'm Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10.